，大家好，呃，谢谢哈，大家，呃、uh, ，I we are the AI people and uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see how this would actually work for AI because it's a little bit theoretical and we're looking into how to make that into a practical application and um, we are when I say we are um, that means that Tobin and me where's Tobin Tobin is here Tobin okay so Tobin is a, a software developer and uh, I am teaching here in the School of uh, uh, Design and Innovation uh, I teach cl classes in AI and design and uh, we've been working together with um, uh, Tobin on uh, projects one of which is AI art and uh, AI art is not really art when it comes to AI it's a kind of like a playground for doing experiments which are kind of safe because art is kind of safe area. So we do a lot of things to see how uh, ideas could be implemented into the real world but in a kind of a more smooth way. So that's one project that we're working with here. And then we do this thing which is called the Kids AI which is very, very interesting because we have to teach to the kids how to do AI. And um, we do also something, different experiments with AI actual software development and theories, papers and projects that are related to AI. So these are the things we're doing together with um, um, uh, Tobin. And uh, so now this is what we're going to do today, which is AI and mobility, okay? And um, um, like, so abstractly speaking, the idea of uh, mobility is something that moves, okay? It doesn't have to be a car. It could be a bike, it could be anything. It doesn't matter. It's a thing that is moving, okay? And moving is also something very interesting because I could be moving as a physical thing, but if I hit this guy and this guy hits that guy, hits that guy, the propagation effect is a movement too. So movement doesn't have to be happening on the basis of a physical movement. It could be a virtual movement, right? So if you look into the idea of, I'm using a car as an example here, that they're basically connected, okay? That's the first part, that they're connected in some way, all right? This could be a connection either physical, like the one talks to the other, or it could be uh, the one uh, uh, sends a message to the other and they propagate the message, but it's a network system, okay? We're talking abstractly, because the idea behind AI is that it's, it's general systems, so they don't apply to a specific thing. It's not a material thing, it's a mental. So the other thing to look at uh, uh, um, a, um, the AI is from the system of the actual device. How that interacts with a person, okay? So we have the devices in the network of the city, but then we have the actual level of the actual device. How does that vehicle, whatever it is, connect with a person? In what ways? And then it's what's happening inside the vehicle. Okay, the vehicle is a thing, and inside that something happens, okay? And this is another area to look. So big picture, the big area, then the actual thing, and then inside the thing. These are the three kind of like levels of scale that we look into it. Some examples, just to inspire you, some things that we did in the past that they may be connected again. But I don't want to be specific because I don't want you to think that, oh, you have to do this one. Nothing like that. It's just like ideas that could be implemented, and we have the software and the ideas behind it. So this was a project we did uh, back in 2014, six, seven years ago, where a car is swapping a car with another one. And the idea behind it was that you need space to put a car, okay? And the car, when it's not used, it's just idle sitting on the street for like nine hours, and then only one, 10 minutes somebody uses it. So why should it be there? And the Chinese found the idea of like sharing economy, which worked perfectly. But thinking about the driverless car, we have a different kind of like idea that the car is not gonna be any more a car, it's gonna be a chauffeur car. It's gonna take you somewhere and then it's gonna leave you. So you don't have to worry about parking or anything, but it has to park. So somehow it has to go somewhere and park. And that parking is gonna be very different because that parking is gonna be involving cars that don't have to open doors because the, there's no driver in it, right? So they don't have to be sparsely away. And they don't have to be like on a, a person's height because it could be the height of the vehicle, right? So, so all of a sudden, here is an example, they could be compacted in a very different way. It can be like also compressed in a different way because it's a different world, right? It's a different uh, status of the vehicle. And uh, um, again, the swapping could happen in a different way through an AI because we did that back in uh, 2014. It was basically based on cell phones because that was the technology at the time. I send a message to you, you send a message to me. We make a deal, we swap uh, parking space. But today, we don't have to do it. The cars can talk to one another because they have the ability through AI to talk to one another. That's one idea. Um, the other one is uh, um, uh, 
Tobin brought this up about the mod mod modularity. How you take something and you modularize it into little pieces, okay? And these pieces could be like from big one, a train, all the way to a car, all the way to something very, very small, like a bike that could be embedded inside one into the other. So this kind of idea of modularity and incorporation of things is also an important idea to put, keep in mind in the context of AI. Um, another idea is that if you're inside a car uh, and you're not going to be driving, why do you have to look outside? I mean, it's a very boring place to be. Like, look, look at this. You're driving in a highway. Why do I have to see the highway? I don't need to drive. I don't need to observe because I'm not really going to be driving. But somehow, I'm trapped into a window that looks into the world. But what if the window is a filter that actually puts you into a world that is filtered? And you see you live in a dream world. You live in, a, in an environment where the ugly becomes beautiful, right? Well, we can do that like GANs or filters or even Photoshop filter, you can put it on a window and the window actually looks very beautiful. So all the dirty thing around you, they look very interesting. Like, you know, art, garbage was made into art, if you think about it, on Zwitters, uh, Kurt Zwitters back in the uh, A. So the idea behind this AI is a general, it's a system, okay? It's not a specific thing. And it's general enough to be not only mental but abstract. So think of it as a mathematical system. Don't think of it as a, oh, I have to put it in the car, and how is it going to fit here, and it doesn't, the, the, the box doesn't fit, and the router doesn't fit. It doesn't matter. It's a system, okay? It's an abstract entity, okay? So don't uh, get stuck with this difference. So give me some examples here. The, as I said earlier, the, the, the picture that you put on the window that covers the real world, that protects you from the real world, that kind of thing could be a filter. And the filter could be something that, of course, you can get it from uh, a... Uh, Photoshop kind of filter, but it could be your kid's art because we're teaching with the kid's art and they're doing like nice little paintings and those paintings could be actually the world that you're living in. So you're basically living in the kid's world that created for you using AI, kid's AI art. So think about it, like the parents living in the kid's world, beautiful, right? Instead of being like in a car that is trapped in a highway that is, you know, boring and, you know, shopping malls and stuff like that, right? Uh, another idea is the, the modularity. Modularity could happen at every level. It doesn't have to be at the level of a car or the vehicle. It could be things that move that could be very small, right? It could be parcels moving around. Why would that be humans? Why is a human the actual uh, 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 scale uh, 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 module that we use? It could be anything. It could be so small that it could be like tiny, like microscopic things that actually move around and they bring something. I don't know. Maybe dust, maybe uh, some other thing. That's the idea. Just be like very open-minded. Don't get stuck to the specific car, human. That is gone. First of all, there's no human. Cars don't have human anymore. And plus, a car is not a car anymore. It's something else. And that's a big idea behind it. And also, the idea of generality is also important. For example, the swapping we did back in 2015-16 uh, uh, was based on cars moving in. Uh, um, sharing spaces with one another. So you can see they're here, they're all going downtown in Boston and they're actually swapping positions in the car. But we use the same exact system to swap food in an airplane because it's the same system. People eating and they say, I don't want to eat this food. Can I give you your food and you give me your food and you swapping food with one another and the system actually takes care of the food swapping in the car. So it doesn't have to be a car. The system could be applied to anything, including these kinds of uh, uh, abstract systems that imply to anything. So you have to be very open-minded. You have to be very, let's say, I don't use the word mathematic, but very uh, kind of philosophical. What is that what I'm looking at? What is the ondolis? What is the thing behind it? That's more important than I have in mind that I have to do this and then I have to push my health self to do that particular thing. Okay, so AI basically is everywhere, okay? Anything could be connected with AI. Anything is AI because it's a mental, it's like a mind, so minds go everywhere. And of course, it could be applied to everything at any time. Okay, so that is the uh, idea behind it. So that's my uh, talk, and I think I inspired a little bit. I'm just give you some hint of ideas that could be put. Don't be stuck with that particular examples, although you can use them. But think broad, think big, think scalable, think modular. Okay, this is the idea behind it. So.